Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Seven, five, four, Hello and welcome to On The Fly Television. What is On The Fly Television? I have absolutely no idea. It's uh, basically TVC TV producer gone wild. Basically what we're going to do is try to throw together a show out of absolutely nothing. I have nothing prepared. I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. But the point of this is to show you how anybody in the viewing audience can create a television show with no preparation whatsoever, with just a small talented staff in the background, being able to do their job and us out front talking about whatever it is you want to talk about. It. So, to find out what we're going to talk about, crew, what do you want me to talk about? Uh, uh, door. Uh, door? The door on the security camera? Can we close the door on the security camera there? Yeah, go ahead and close that door right there, sir. Uh, that would be the other door. The one that's blocking the security camera. There we go. There's my crew. I can talk about the studio and what kind of stuff we have in there. Okay, well, we have Sean Savage's head at the, at the uh, bottom of the screen there. We have Mark Burns, my talented production assistant, in the middle there telling me that I can talk about TV. And my other production assistant, uh, my assistant director, I think the title effect officially is uh, director and executive director for this particular show on the fly television you just see there. Uh, this is the back control room. This is what happens whenever we're, we're recording a show here. and. You start from left to right, you have a little monitor screen that shows what's uh, going to be on telemetrics, prompting the individual what to say. We have the audio board. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Chris, very much. Appreciate that. Show us the audio board. You know, make things look like they're moving, that they actually is something official. Go ahead and play the music for us a little bit. Show us that we know how to play the music. We're going to be music up there. Are we, are we doing the CD? There we go. There's the CD player. We can go ahead and change whatever we want to. So scrolling over there in front of Mark, what do we have there? We have a monitor. That's for computer graphics. There we go. You can see it's a Windows-based uh, background there. A whole slew of monitors next to them. Basically, you can monitor everything that's going on in that control room that has a, mo a screen to it in the area. I'm sorry? We can monitor anything in the world. Right? The whole world, that whole world. But you know, we weren't supposed to tell the audience that it was the entire world. We were supposed to keep that hush hush. Um, but there it is. It's out, folks. I'm sorry about that. We got it. So going over, you could probably see me in the preview screen underneath that big giant clock. You can see what, if we were not recording the studio or the control room, we'd be recording me. So go ahead and switch over to camera two. Thank you very much. So now if you were to see in the control room still, you would see me on the right side of the screen, whereas before you saw me on the left side of the screen. Kind of fascinating, right? So there we are. Back to the control room again. And you can see me moving around. Now I'm back to bars, it looks like. And there are me. I'm flailing in the background. If you can probably make out a small image there somewhere. The row of uh, screens underneath me that you can't really see very well. That's camera one, two, three, and whatever is on four, which Sometimes if you're watching like Linux, it could be your computer, it could be the uh, prompter if there's words coming up there. And then uh, further to the right, we have a black screen with green all over it. That's a white balancer telling us basically where our, our white spikes are at or if it's too hot or too uh, bright for the people that are monitoring us to make sure we can actually see what we're talking about. If it gets too high, it turns from green to red, we get people calling down saying we're too hot. Underneath there is the actual cameras. So instead of what we have in front of the control panel, which is what we want to show on the ca camera one, two, and three, those are the actual cameras. And Chris, you want to show the different banks there um, for like uh, camera one, how long, how wide that is. So you got from there, that's the right side and to the left side. So we obviously have a lot of technical equipment back there that runs a show, even the most basic one. Uh, we have three automated cameras here, and this is the Studio B at TVC TV. And so you have to be able to not only white balance the camera, black balance it, 
do everything you need to normally do to make sure you get a reasonable shot. But then you got to be able to monitor all the audio and everything else all together. So I have people flailing in the background in the studio. There you go. There's uh, Sean Savage in the background there. <laughs> you can see <laughs> the control room reflecting off. I'm sure we're really spiking on that, uh, that picture of the light as we're reflecting it off of there. So this is how exciting it could be, folks. If you're interested in working on television, being a producer, you can see my silhouette there off the glass a little bit, I think. If you're interested in creating something, it doesn't really matter what it is, preferably wholesome, family-related, then just come on down to TVC TV, look it up online at tvctv.org, or give them a call. If I can remember the phone number, it's 503-629-8534. Any takers on that one, if I got that number right? It'll be online anyway, tvctv.org, and you can look up the, how to call here, the directions to get here, what it takes to be a producer, how much it costs, if there's, and there's only a little bit. But basically, if you want to have some fun, and it doesn't really matter what it's about, you either want to have your kid on television to, just to give them the experience, or you want to tape your football game, or what have you, contact them, become a producer, and see if you can put together something that is as weird and off the wall, unscripted like this particular episode, or any of the episodes that you see, they're very well scripted, laid out, and professional. So what do we have for next subject? I'm, I'm talking about television. Everyone talks about television at a TV station. What are subject? We have three and a half minutes. I know that. So what can we talk about in three minutes? Um, price of tea in China. The price of tea in China. Now that's an interesting question because really no one cares about the price of tea in China unless you're on the commodity market, probably. But a lot of people use the word, myself included, what that ha have to do with the price of tea in China, okay? The term is expression, right? I use it all the time to try to relate the fact that it really doesn't mean a lot to me. Now that's not to be offensive to anyone in the, in the commodities market that may actually deal with tea in China, but uh, it's just a phrase like anything else. Give me something with a little more substance. I don't know, anything. Price of tea in America. Okay, well that is a really, really poor subject choice. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Okay, we have, <laughs> now you want me to get into a marketing class. Let's get something with some kind of, uh, I don't know, humor, anything. Let's talk about the, the, the radiation exposure of cellular phones and the human body. <laughs> the radiation, <laughs> the radiation of cellular phones on the human body. Interesting question because I don't know really very much statistics about it, but how many people don't have a phone, right? Everyone has a phone. Some people are smart enough to cover it like I do because I drop it all the time. Some people don't. I really don't know all much about the radiation in a phone. I can tell you that if it does have a lot of radiation, I'm probably not going to be around much longer. I, I can't really help it. I'm, I'm attached to the phone. Um, I have my Bluetooth, typically speaking, when I can actually find it, um, and I love to have it. Drive safely if you're going to be using your phone. Pay more attention to the road than a person on the phone. Um, obviously, a lot of people have issues with that. Give me another subject, something with a little heart to it or meat. Um. um. Okay, we can talk about um. Yeah. Let's talk about um since he's used that term three times since I've asked him what subjects. Um is an interesting word. If you have an unscripted type of venue like this one is, a lot of times a producer or talent might substitute a strategic pause for the word um or ah. Uh. There's a lot of different shows you can watch them. You'll see some talent that uses it all the time, and you have other talent that rarely ever uses it at all. Now, that's not to say that they don't use it. Normally speaking, they may have it scripted in um or ah uh, is not in the script. What do I use all the time? What do I normally use? Basically. Like. Like, like and basically. I use the word basically a lot. Okay, so a basically, I use basic in a basic way. Is that too many times? I've said it five times now? Uh, no, I think that's just enough times. Just enough times. Thank yeah. you very much. In a 10-minute show, I guess uh, five times is relatively okay for the word basic. Now six times, I'm sure I'll get fine for that. But what other words do I use a lot? A lot. I use the word a lot, a lot. Is that a lot is in one word or a lot is in two words? One word, I think you, I think you use it one word. Okay, I use it. Okay, it is two words. We're going to start playing some music. You're going to play music. Okay, because we have 20 seconds left. Go ahead and play music. 
The word a lot is like anything else, it's a filler that people use instead of the word um and ah. I use it obviously quite a bit. So if you're basically looking for a uh, like, cool experience, come down to TVC TV and produce your own show. Thank you.